Hi, this is a container cap that I made a 3D scan in my previous video. But in that video, I used Autodesk Inventor to do a reverse engineering. In this video, I'm going to show you a step by step how to reverse and model a female trait by using FreeCAD. I will put uh, the download link for this point cloud in the description so that you can follow. And this is the point cloud from the 3D scan and it's not aligned to the XY plane as you can see. So we need to find a flat plane which is the bottom of the cap here and assign three points on that flat plane. At this command, pick three points to make a cloud or mesh level and then you can click on the bottom of the cap three points so now uh, the cap is aligned to the XY plane and this is the side view so the bottom of the cap is aligned to the XY plane and if you look at the property box here look at global box center the cap is not in the origin point so you need to move it click on the cap here click on tools registration move bounding box center to origin and you can turn off this okay now uh, this point cloud is ready to be export for exporting this point cloud you need to click on this point cloud click on save and you need to save it as a PLY format so that this is the only a point cloud format that is recognizable by FreeCAD. Click on save and you need to click on ASCII. That's it. And now you can close the cloud compare and move to FreeCAD. Okay, this is FreeCAD version 1.0.2. I click on parametric part and make sure that it shows here part design. And next you are going to import the point cloud that you just made on download from the link in the description and here is the point cloud from the 3D scan and already aligned to the XY plane click on the point cloud I'm going to change the color to something uh, bright and change the size to 1 you need to see a detail of the thread profiles so I scan this this part with the resolution 0.15 millimeter if I scan uh, this part with the resolution 0.5 I wouldn't be able to see the thread it's going to be mushy and look like it's melting because the resolution is too low so for part like this 0.15 is enough uh, when you make a 3d scan and most important, a lot of questions from the viewer. A resolution has nothing to do with the precision. If you want a uh, high precision of your scan, you don't have to set the resolution to the maximum 0.1 millimeter. That is totally different thing. You should be using the lowest resolution that still gives you the detail of your work. Okay, next I'm going to turn on this is the origin point the cap is not in the center of the origin so you need to move it let's create a sketch here I click on the XY plane and click here create a sketch okay this is a sketch on the XY plane okay next I'm going to draw a three point circle one two and three okay this uh, little dot here is the center of the circle and this will be the center of the origin so you are going to move it from this point to this point so to make it easier i'm going to draw a circle here and go toward here let me delete the first arc that i draw uh, let's check the diameter of this circle 35.33 so i'm going to draw a circle on the origin point 35.33 okay so now we have this uh, circle next I'm going to move the point cloud and use this circle for reference you can close it uh, click on the point cloud right click click on placement 
connects uh, you need to move it along the x axis see here this is the x axis by clicking here one millimeter one millimeter okay next i'm going to change by typing minus 2.1.2 yeah i think that's about right for the x axis let's move to y axis 0.5 uh, i think that's very close point six point five point four five okay i think this is the center okay now the point cloud is in the center you zoom in it's a plastic cap so it's not really loud so you need to know that it's not a metal cap okay i click on apply okay okay next i'm going to turn off the origin so our cap is in the center of the origin next i need to move it up see here xy plane is here click on placement and move it just stop. click on here the arrow click 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 okay about this high 25 millimeter next i'm going to turn off the plane okay next i'm going to double click on the sketch so the sketch we already have one circle which is the inner wall of the cap so next i'm going to offset click on here click on offset command I'm going to offset it for the outer wall, which is uh, 1.6 millimeter. So we have uh, inner and outer wall. So next, I'm going to close this and click on the sketch and click on this command, pad command. So pad command new extrude the sketch and create a 3D model. But it's upside down. You need to reverse it raise the height now it's 20 21 is too much let's try 20.5 okay 20.5 would be the height okay next i'm going to close the top of the cap i'm going to click on here the face of this tube and then i'm going to click on sketch click on here circle i make some overlap here click on close and click on the sketch click on pad command so it's going to extrude but it's in the reverse position and i'm going to extrude for two millimeter if your screen is not updated you can click here you can do a left click on the view part it will update the screen click on ok so we have a shape of the cap okay next i'm going to create a thread let me turn on the planes and i need to choose the plane that i will use for creating the sketch i think i will use a yc plane uh, because it uh, cut across uh, more threads yeah i will choose yc plane i click on this plane click on here create a sketch click on here view section good thing about freecad is it's automatically cut the section for the sketch and also it will cut the section for the point cloud as well so you can see thread profiles very clear so uh, next i'm going to trace the profiles of the thread i will use line i will draw the line longer so that i can move it to uh, place it precisely and this one's supposed to be arc but you can't print that on the FDM printer so I just use a flat uh, what you call line next I'm going to uh, trim it okay when the line is joined properly it will show in the orange color the dot I'll remove this so I overlap it into the wall it doesn't has to be a perfect straight line so next i'm going to select all this line and click on here move command so i'm going to move it here it's going to show you the number of the distance it shows right here 2.94 that will be the pitch of the thread so if i move it three millimeter it will match the profiles of the next pitch a uh, three millimeters will be the pitch of this thread so I'm going to move this up to the first profiles here. Listen, I draw it on this profile because it has a perfect size. This one is a bit smaller because it's going to end the thread. 
they use a smaller thread to stop the turning but I'm going to use the constant thread profiles on this one so I'm going to move it up 3 millimeter and 90 degrees okay this will be the profiles of the thread click on close and you're going to find your sketch here uh, let me turn off everything okay here you can clearly see the sketch okay next I'm going to uh, using this command additive helix to create a thread in some software it's gonna call this coil command like Autodesk Inventor but for the free cat it's called helix additive helix click on the sketch I'm going to turn on just the C axis click on the sketch profiles click on here okay after you click it it will detect a cross profiles and start to spin the thread so next you are going to uh, change the pitch to three millimeter and adjust the height so our thread is uh, going in the reverse direction so i need to click here all right so it's going up to here okay you need to adjust the number 10.4 say 10.7 I use the height and the pitch as the input for creating the thread I click on OK not difficult right we reverse from the female thread we don't need to apply the care lens for the thread I'm going to create a, a grip profile of this cap uh, it's very bright let me uh, let me change the transparency to 50% okay so it's a bit better for the reflection okay next I'm going to create this profile click on the face here click on sketch polyline command to create a profile it doesn't has to be exact it's just a texture for gripping uh, if you are serious about this you can you can put an angle so that it will be a uh, symmetry but I'm not going to be serious about that just drag the line to match the profiles that should be I'm going to extrude it uh, using this pad command make sure that you select a sketch there is a there is a bug in the in the free cat helix command has to be the last command when you model in FreeCAD otherwise the other command will not execute I don't know why but it's uh, uh, it's not normal <laughs> for for modeling software right so if I if I move the additive helix to the bottom let's let's see what's going to happen I'm going to click on it see here extrude working fine the pad command is working fine if if I drag the helix command to the bottom uh, this could be a bug in the software can I click on up to face uh, use dimension I think it's 20.5 I remember the number okay let's uh, chamfer this one millimeter okay next I'm going to allay this by clicking on here pad and chamfer and click on here polar pattern the pad and chamfer will be LA I have 14 of this you can count it it's 14 on a full circle click on OK let me change it back to a full model here uh, with this bug in FreeCAD you need to delete the helix because it's creating a double body I will just delete it okay and when you uh, draw object with the uh, thread thread has to be the last command in FreeCAD so I click on here the sketch profiles of the thread is still there I click on additive helix okay and I reverse it uh, 3 millimeter I think the high is 10.7 click on OK I'm not expert with the free cat I'm quite new with the free cat let's uh, export as the STL files and print it okay now it's all done uh, thread modeling for a cap I use a PLA to print this for a fitting demonstration so it, take, it will take 19 minutes for a PLA
So when I usually was this with the Autodex Inventor, SolidWorks or FreeCAD, if you done it correctly, you are going to have a successful print on the first time, and it's gonna give you the same precision. So here's a thread model with the FreeCAD. Thanks you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video.